Through millions of years of evolution, the world has witnessed the emergence and disappearance of countless prehistoric animal species. However, there are some fortunate creatures that have survived the test of time and still exist today. Serving as living witnesses to a legendary era of Earth, these species are not only natural wonders, but also great sources of inspiration for understanding and respecting our past. Let's take a look back and explore the special prehistoric animal species that we still have the opportunity to witness today. The Showbill Stork The Showbill Stork is a large bird with an average length ranging from 120 to 140 centimeters and a wingspan that can reach up to 230 centimeters. They have white plumage, sometimes with black markings on their wings and back, the most prominent feature of the showbill. Stork is its large and powerful bill, which can grow up to 30 centimeters long, aiding them in hunting and nest excavation. These birds typically live solitary lives or in pairs and often nest in tall trees or on electric poles amidst marshy areas. Amidst the marshland, there is a peculiar bird with a bill resembling a Dutch clog. It emits a high-pitched cry to announce to other showbill storks that this is its hunting ground. The bizarre call of this bird blends with the distant roar of dinosaurs, of course. It doesn't hunt dinosaurs, but rather preys on snakes, fish, and frogs amidst the reeds. Showbill storks continue to thrive even after dinosaurs left the world. Their fossil records date back 65 million years, and today they still hunt in similar environments, once widespread. Their habitat now primarily exists in select African countries. Standing up to 1.5 meters tall, with wide wings built for traversing vast plains. The main characteristic of the showbill stork remains its ancient-looking bill, which has changed little over time. Previously, their enormous bills, reaching up to 23 centimeters, made them the third largest billed bird among all living bird species. The upper part of their bill ends in a perfectly sharp hook, ideal for hunting. This feature helps them swiftly dispatch prey, with a single decisive strike, utilizing a variety of prey items as their diet varies. The breeding season of showbill storks. T-Y-P-I-C-A-L-L-Y occurs during the rainy season when food is abundant. They often build nests on poles or tall trees, usually at heights ranging from 12 to 15 meters above the ground. Each clutch can contain from 2 to 5 eggs and the incubation period lasts from 25 to 30 days when the chicks hatch. They are cared for by both parents and take about 70 to 100 days to become self-sufficient. Showbill storks are known as one of the most formidable bird species, and their hunting behavior remains as effective as millions of years ago, aiding in their survival. They primarily feed on aquatic animals such as fish frogs, and even small crocodiles, offering a wide array of choices at their feasting buffet. Surprising is their relatively peaceful relationship with humans, which is why they are popular among bird watchers. Although not classified as an endangered species, the population of showbill storks is declining due to habitat loss and hunting. Habitat loss is a major concern for showbill storks due to the reduction of wetlands and swamp forests they adapt to. Number 2. Long-Nosed Echidna The long-nosed echidna, also known as the spiny anteater, shares a similar appearance and size to other echidna species but is distinguished by its long and slender snout. Their elongated and pointed snout aids in easy prey capture underground. Their body is covered in brown or gray fur often adorned with small spines along the back. Long-nosed echidnas typically measure between 30 to 45 centimeters in length and weigh between 2 to 5 kilograms. They have short and powerful legs with sharp claws, facilitating burrowing and movement in the soil. Long-nosed echidnas primarily inhabit pristine forests, dense bushlands, and grasslands in Australia. They prefer environments with soft soil and abundant vegetation, making it easier for them to search for food and burrow. 
Long-nosed echidnas are solitary creatures. Living alone and only coming together during the breeding season, they are nocturnal and typically burrow underground during the day. Long-nosed echidnas move by walking or burrowing underground, where they can search for food and avoid danger. Long-nosed echidnas play a vital role in the ecosystem of pristine forests. By maintaining ecological balance and controlling the population of insect pests and harmful pests, they are also part of the food chain, hunted by larger predatory mammals, and serve as an important food source for other carnivorous animals. Number 3. Polar Bear The Polar Bear, also known as the Arctic Bear or the True Polar Bear, is the largest and most powerful bear species in the bear family. Scientifically named Ursus marinimus, they primarily inhabit the vast polar ice regions of the Arctic, including the Arctic Ocean and the surrounding island. Polar bears are large and heavy bears, adapted to the harsh environment of the Arctic. On average, polar bears stand between 2.5 to 3.5 meters, about 8 to 11.5 feet tall, when standing on their hind. Legs and weigh round 400 to 700 kilograms equivalent to 880 to 1,540 pounds. In appearance, polar bears have large and muscular bodies. Well adapted to the extreme climate conditions of the Arctic, they have thick and dense fur, often white or nearly white, which helps them blend perfectly into the snowy and icy environment. Their nostrils and ears are Designed to minimize contact with cold air and keep their bodies warm. Polar bears are omnivorous, but they primarily hunt underwater. They enjoy eating fish, seafood, seals, and even seal pups. Their strength and agility underwater make them excellent hunters in the icy marine environment. The primary habitat of polar bears is sea ice, and they often roam on large ice floes, searching for food and resting places. Additionally, they can also live on the coastlines, in caves, or in dens dug into the snow. Polar bears have a solitary lifestyle, except for mothers with cubs. Females typically give birth to one to three cubs each spring, and nurture them for about two to three years before they become independent. Despite their excellent adaptation to the harsh Arctic conditions, polar bears face numerous challenges from climate change, habitat loss, and habitat degradation. Therefore, conserving and preserving the polar bear species has become a crucial priority in global wildlife conservation efforts. Number 4. The Musk Ox The Musk Ox, also known as the Musk Ox or Musk Ox, is a large bovine species native to the Arctic regions, particularly found in Greenland, Alaska, Canada, and northern Russia. With its robust appearance and thick fur, the musk ox symbolizes strength and resilience in the harsh environment of the Arctic. Musk oxen are sizable animals, standing about 1.2 to 1.5 meters for 2 5 feet tall at the shoulder, and measuring approximately 2 to 3 meters 6 to 10 feet in length from nose to tail. Bulls are typically larger than females with an average weight ranging from 200 to 400 kilograms, 440 to 880 pounds. Possess a dense coat of fur, with an outer layer that can be brown or black and an undercoat that is gray or white. This thick fur helps them stay warm in the severe climate conditions of the Arctic, especially during the freezing winter months. Musk oxen often live in small herds, led by a dominant adult male. They prefer habitats consisting of lowlands, plains, and grasslands, where they can easily find food such as grasses, herbs, and shrubs. Musk oxen are herbivores, feeding on vegetation, flowers, and grasses. During the mating season, adult males engage in battles to establish dominance and control over the herd. These struggles typically involve headbutting and using their strength to push back rivals. Once they have secured dominance, the adult males mate with the females in the herd. While musk oxen were once nearly extinct by the late 19th century, due to overhunting, they have experienced a robust recovery thanks to conservation programs. 
However, climate change and habitat loss remain significant threats to their survival. Therefore, the conservation and preservation of musk oxen continue to be a vital priority for conservationists and Number 5. Saltwater Crocodile Saltwater crocodile saltwater crocodiles have robust bodies with thick skin and scales to protect them from injury when moving on land or engaging in combat. They range in color from gray to dark brown, aiding them in blending well in brackish water environments. They have been in existence for about 240 million years, although they can inhabit freshwater. They often venture into brackish or salt water to hunt and breed. Saltwater crocodiles are typically carnivorous, hunting prey in water. With their primary diet consisting of various animals, birds, and marine species, they usually inhabit areas near the sea or where brackish water flows, such as estuaries, mangrove forests, and marshlands. They have a wide distribution range. From Southeast Asia to Northern Australia, Papua New Guinea, Indonesia, and countries in the Pacific region, breeding season for saltwater crocodiles usually occurs during the rainy season when water levels are high and food is abundant. They typically nest on sandy beaches or river banks near the sea. After laying eggs, the nest can be either submerged or on dry land, about 80 to 90 days and after hatching. The baby crocodiles are protected by their mother and may stay close to her. For the first few months of their lives, saltwater crocodiles have a complex relationship with humans. While they can pose a danger to humans if provoked, in many cases, they tend to avoid human contact and only attack if they feel threatened. Number 6. The Komodo Dragon The Komodo Dragon can reach lengths of about 2 to 3 meters and weigh between 70 to 150 kilograms, with males typically larger than females. They have been in existence for millions of years. They have an impressive appearance with large, thick, brown to gray skin adorned with spots and dark markings. Komodo dragons possess powerful jaw structures, sharp teeth, and are capable of crushing their prey's bones. They also have excellent vision, smell, and hearing abilities, aiding them in hunting efficiently. Komodo dragons are carnivorous creatures and hunt by silently approaching their prey and launching a sudden attack. Their common prey includes deer, antelope, and even larger animals like wild boar and deer after capturing their prey. They often track and wait until the prey succumbs to infection from the initial bite. Komodo dragons inhabit pristine forest and dry grassland environments on tropical islands with hot and humid climates. They prefer to hide in caves or burrows during the day and typically hunt at night. They usually lay eggs in August and September, and the incubation period lasts about seven to eight months when the hatchlings emerge. They must fend for themselves until they are large enough to survive on their own. Although Komodo dragons can be dangerous to humans, they often avoid human contact and only attack if they feel threatened or provoked. The conservation status of this species is facing many challenges, including habitat loss, illegal hunting, and depletion of food sources. Number 7. The Goblin Shark The Goblin Shark also known scientifically as Clomidocelicus onguneus, is a species of shark belonging to the family Clomidocelici. It is one of the oldest species of sharks still existing on Earth, dating back approximately 125 million years. The goblin shark was first discovered in the 19th century, and since then, it has captured the interest of scientists due to its unique appearance and remarkable Evolutionary development, the goblin shark has a long and slender shape, with a pointed and elongated snout resembling a straw. It possesses small and sharp teeth. Suitable for grasping onto prey while hunting, its coloration is usually dark black or gray, aiding in camouflage within the deep sea environment. Goblin sharks typically inhabit great depths ranging from 200 to 1,000 meters below the ocean surface. They are bottom-dwelling sharks, often hunting at night and hiding during the day. 
The goblin shark is believed to be an ambush predator, waiting and launching surprise attacks on prey, gripping it with its small teeth and proceeding with the hunt. Goblin sharks are widely distributed in deep sea regions. Across the globe, including deep sea areas in the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. They adapt to the deep sea habitat and often inhabit areas with rich biodiversity of marine life. Due to the extremely low population of goblin sharks, in deep sea bottom areas, interactions between this species and humans are rare, however, their unique and eerie appearance has attracted the attention of scientists and marine researchers. The conservation status of the goblin shark remains unclear, as information regarding their population numbers is limited, and there are no specific conservation plans for this species. Number 8. Crocodile Turtle Crocodile turtle is a large turtle species, belonging to the family Testidinidae, with the scientific name Chelidra serpentina. This species is distributed in North America, from southern Canada to southern Mexico, and is one of the largest freshwater turtles in this region. The most prominent feature of the snapping turtle is its robust horn shell and sharp spines, giving it a resemblance to an alligator, hence the name snapping. The shell of the snapping turtle typically has a dark brown or black color with very large and thick scales. The underside of the shell may be white or lighter in color. The of the crocodile turtle is large and stout, with a slightly flattened head and a long, pointed snout. Their eyes are often yellow or orange, and they have excellent vision. The crocodile turtle legs are powerful, with sharp claws, enabling them to move both on land and in water with agility. Each foot has five toes, each with a sharp claw. The body length of snapping turtles can range from 30 to 50 centimeters, but can be even larger in older individuals. Young crocodile turtle weigh between 20 and 50 kilograms, while adults range from 70 to 120 kilograms, with some individuals recorded weighing up to 200 kilograms. Where the shell weight accounts for up to 70% of the body weight, hence contributing to their name. The shell of snapping turtles is characterized by three rows of elongated, sharp spines, extending to the tail, reminiscent of the rough skin on the back of an alligator. Snapping turtles typically inhabit freshwater environments, such as lakes, ponds, rivers, areas with abundant vegetation and submerged grasslands. They prefer to live submerged, moving slowly and cautiously, often hiding under grass, sand, or riverbeds during the day. Snapping turtles rank high in body measurements, equivalent to approximately 740 for pounds per square inch, to put it in perspective. For every square inch on a victim's body, it would have to bear the weight of an adult weighing nearly 75 kilograms to resist this force. This ability comes from their sturdy jaws with a super wide mouth that can open up to 120. They're strong. Robust jaws provide a bite force six times stronger than that of a shark, making snapping turtles unrivaled in biting strength. They can even break the shells of many other species to consume their flesh. Number 9. The Sandhill Crane The Sandhill Crane, or Grus canadensis, is a large migratory bird belonging to the Gruidae family, widely distributed across the North American continent. It is one of the largest and most common crane species in North America, exhibiting a range of notable biological characteristics and behaviors. In terms of appearance, the Sandhill Crane stands at an average height of about 3 to 4 feet equivalent to 91 to 120 to cm, and weighs between 6 to 12 pounds approximately to 0.7 to 5.4 kilograms. They have a robust appearance with a long, straight neck, a small wolf-like head, and a dorsal plumage typically gray or brown with the underparts being white or light gray. Particularly, a bright red patch may be observed on the upper portion of the head. Although sandhill cranes are migratory birds, they often inhabit and forage in wetland environments such as marshes, ponds, and wet meadows. They prefer to feed on grasses, seeds, and insects, 
often forming large flocks during migration or breeding seasons. The breeding season of sandhill cranes typically occurs in spring, when they concentrate in wetland areas to build nests. Crane pairs often construct nests using grass and twigs. Typically on the ground or on a mound of dry grass, each clutch usually consists of one to three eggs. And both parents take turns incubating the eggs for about 30 to 32 days before hatching. Upon hatching, the chicks are cared for and nurtured by both parents for an extended period, usually from 60 to 90 days before they become self-sufficient. Sandhill cranes are known for their distinctive trumpeting calls, a vocalization they use for communication, both in flight and on the ground. The intelligence, elegance, and remarkable migratory ability of sandhill cranes have made them an icon of grassland and wetland habitats in North America. Number 10. The Chinese Giant Salamander The Chinese Giant Salamander, also known as Andreas Davidianus, is one of the largest amphibians in the world and is a cherished species in China, renowned not only for its immense size, but also for its biological diversity and cultural significance within Chinese culture. The Chinese giant salamander has endured for millions of years on this planet, becoming a symbol of resilience and strength with its robust body and prominent vein skin. The Chinese giant salamander typically inhabits the underground of cold water streams, in humid mountainous forests in the western and southern provinces of China, reaching lengths of up to 1.8 meters and weights of up to 50 kilograms, they stand as one of the largest salamander species globally. The mystical and unique nature of the Chinese giant salamander has attracted considerable attention from both the scientific community and the Chinese populace. However, the rapid decline in their natural populations has pushed them to the brink of endangerment. Habitat loss, uncontrolled hunting, and illegal trade pose significant threats to their existence. Animal conservation organizations and the Chinese government are focusing efforts on protecting the Chinese giant salamander and its habitat. Conservation measures such as establishing reserves, community education, and sustainable management of their habitat are being implemented to ensure the survival of the Chinese giant salamander in the future and preserve Earth's biodiversity. Number 11. Horseshoe Crab About 480 million years ago. And you wouldn't think that anything living at that time could still exist today. But the horseshoe crab species not only persists on this planet, but also closely resembles its ancient ancestors. The entire body of this species is protected by a thick exoskeleton adorned with numerous outward-facing spines. They have 10 eyes scattered across their bodies with two eyes used for seeking mates and the remaining eight functioning as light sensors. Additionally, they have a long tail. Though in menacing appearances, its sole function is simply to help them flip over if overturned. Their characteristics are so efficient that they have persisted despite the Earth's constant changes. Although horseshoe crabs look related to lobsters, they are closer to spiders and scorpions than crabs. They are arthropods with a diet consisting of healthy choices such as mollusks, arthropods, and worms finding enough food along the shores of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. They also consume algae. Hence, they have survived through many food shortages caused by global events. With all of their features, who knows? Maybe the blood of the horseshoe crab can outlive humans, after all. This is for 180 million years into the future. Number 12, the Black Panther. The Black Panther, also known as Panther apartus, is a species of big cat belonging to the Felidae family and is one of the most widespread leopard species in the world. The common characteristics of the Black Panther include large size, powerful physique, and shiny black fur although some individuals may have light-colored spots on their bodies. Originating approximately two million years ago in Africa and neighboring regions, the Black Panther is widely distributed from Africa, Asia to some areas of Europe. They adapt to various habitats, 
from tropical rainforests to grasslands and even urban areas. Although they mainly live solitary lives, they can also form small groups in an area with abundant food sources. In terms of diet, the black panther is a versatile predator, hunting prey such as antelopes, deer, gores, and even small animals like rabbits and birds. Their dietary flexibility helps them thrive in diverse habitats. The black panther is an ancient and agile predator, capable of climbing and moving vigorously in both deep forests and grasslands. They are also skilled hunters, often approaching their target stealthily and quietly before attacking. However, the black panther faces numerous challenges from human activities, habitat loss, illegal hunting, and conflicts with local communities have led to a decline in their numbers in many areas. Additionally, the illegal trade of black panthers and their products poses an increasing threat to their survival. Wildlife conservation organizations and governments are making efforts to protect the black panther by establishing reserves, managing habitats, and educating communities about the importance of conserving this rare and valuable species. Furthermore, scientific research and monitoring of changes in Black Panther populations are being conducted to propose more effective conservation measures in the future. Number 13, the Whale Shark. The Whale Shark, also known as the Basking Shark, is one of the largest species of sharks and the largest fish in the world. It is a creature with a distinctive and characteristic shape, evoking wonder and curiosity among observers. The whale shark has a streamlined body with a long, blocky shape adorned with white, gray, or greenish-blue stripes and spots against a backdrop of blue, with a powerful body and large abdomen. They can reach lengths of up to approximately 12 to 18 meters and weigh from 20 to 30 tons. Whale sharks are filter feeders, primarily consuming small plankton, small fish, and algae, despite their immense size. They are harmless to humans and are known for their docile and friendly nature. These fish are commonly found in warm and tropical waters around the world, including the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. They often migrate along their food routes and serve as major attractions for tourists and marine researchers. While whale sharks are not facing immediate extinction threats, they are still vulnerable to various human activities such as hunting, habitat loss, and environmental pollution. Therefore, protecting and sustainably managing their habitats is crucial to ensure the survival of this species in the future and preserve the biodiversity of the oceans. Through researching and protecting prehistoric animal species, we learn that biodiversity is a crucial part of our existence on this planet. We need to respect and safeguard these animal species, not only for their biological value, but also for the wonder and adventurous spirit of life on Earth. It is hoped that through continued research and conservation efforts, we will be able to preserve rare prehistoric animal species and conserve the diversity of our planet for future generations. Let us continue to explore and respect the wondrous beauty of nature, and we will progress further. On the path of understanding and life, our video comes to an end here. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to support us in creating more content. If you have any requests regarding animals, please leave them in the comments section. Goodbye and see you again soon.